Hi all folks, this is Max from Zetonex.com. So we're gonna go update uh, my Nexus One. So download the two files I have on uh, my blog post or on this YouTube channel, and copy it into your uh, USB drive or SD card of the Nexus One. And then uh, we're gonna power off, okay? And then we're gonna go into the bootloader mode. Of course, you gotta have to uh, have to have your Nexus One rooted. This is for rooted users only. And we're gonna install the Leo Gingerbread ROM today. Um, it's gonna be my first upgrade for my Nexus One. So hold the volume down and the power button. Okay, to start getting to the bootloader. All right. And once you're in bootloader mode. We're gonna go to uh, wait a little bit, and we're gonna go into uh, recovery and hit the power button. Let me adjust the camera so you can see. Well, actually, this best as it gets. Power button. All right. And by the way, I've been using my uh, G2 phone, so I haven't used my Nexus One. But uh, I've switched back and I've been using my Nexus One and it gets so much better signals. And when I'm in the bathroom, I'm dropping back to edge on my G2, whereas my Nexus One uh, gets better signals. So I think this has actually a really good antenna, now I realize. And from here, you can use your trackball and uh, you can go down to uh, back up and restore and back up your uh, current ROM if you want to I have instructions on my nexus1hacks.net blog um, I'll have links to that too and uh, once you back it up you can wipe go to wipe and hit the trackball and wipe data factory reset and trackball alright it's gonna take like two seconds and then go to wipe Dalvi cache hit the trackball trackball again to wipe all the cache and you're all ready to go uh, we're gonna go to the previous menu with the volume down button and then we're gonna do uh, flash zip from SD card and then oops uh, no zip file found oh I don't know what's happening here do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? I think you're supposed to put it uh, in the root directory, and I actually put it in a uh, not a, the root directory. So I'm gonna go to my computer real quick. Make sure the zip files are in your root directory. So I just uh, put it back into the root directory. And by the way, you don't have to reboot your phone. And since I just wiped my phone, I don't even have a US uh, or OS operating system. You can go to msp ms toggle right there and uh, connect it to your computer and it will become a, a USB drive for your SD card. Now I'm going to go back to flash zip from SD card. Now it's uh, working. Um, you're supposed to put it in the root directory. For some reason I forgot. And go to the assigned underscore uh, that zip file right there. Uh, it's signed underscore 011811 underscore 23806.zip. This is the ROM file for the Leo gingerbread. Hit the trackball button and then trackball button again and it's going to update should take uh, another five minutes or so um, anyway this is going to be exciting because uh, I haven't been using my Nexus 1 for a while because of my G2 but I've been start using it a lot and the antenna, the antenna performance on the Nexus 1 is you know much better than uh, anything and, and then the G2 on the T-Mobile network. So I ordered the Nexus S. So I'm gonna have a comparison, uh, perhaps in my bathroom when I'm using it. That's when I'm having trouble getting signals. Actually, the best is actually Sprint goes to my bathroom the best. Verizon drops, uh, you know, G2 drops. Um, Nexus one actually doesn't drop. I think it's also the antenna design of these phones that make it a uh, you know have better um, what do you call it 
better signal. Anyway, I'll be back when this is done. All right. Oh, actually, it's almost done. Oh, it's done. Okay. So everything went smooth. Brought to you by XDA Developers. Tight. And I'm gonna go back to flash zip from SD card. And there's another zip file for all the gingerbread Google apps, the G apps dash gb dash sign dot zip and hit trackball trackball again and this will install all the gingerbread google apps um, you know otherwise you're not gonna have gmail all that good stuff uh, google maps google navigation and that's almost done and i'm gonna reboot by hitting the trackball button let me clean my screen real quick And it took me, how long did it take me? Like five minutes to install new uh, gingerbread ROM. Of course, you have to have your Nexus One rooted. Um, so now my phone will be gingerbread, Leo gingerbread. I heard it's pretty good. I heard it's one of the best out there. And it's been around for a while. I'm, you know, I'm an early adapter. But I like to wait until the other early adapters <laughs> use it. That way I can skip the early, early adapter stages uh, and then get to, you know, the real early adapter stage where all the bugs are gone, you know. So sometimes it's not the best to have, you know, the latest ROM, whatever. It's better to wait uh, like a week or two or even a month. That's what I usually do now. I used to update ROMs and like, root it and hack it you know it took me like what two hours to root my nexus one now they have this one click root method you can do it in like five seconds you know it's ridiculous anyway that's why you should wait wait uh, until you know better options are available and the android community is growing you don't know how big that is it's it, you know maybe there's just as many iphone users as uh, Android users but do you know how many Android hackers and developers than Apple hackers and developers I would say at least 10 times more because uh, the number of the phones the platform it provides for hackers it's Linux there's a bunch of Linux experts out there I'm probably like you know beginner compared to some of those really expert hackers um, you can put a Linux Ubuntu on here, you can put, you know, replace the whole system, or you can even run it uh, under emulator. So there we go. So we got gingerbread. So let me just give you a little tour. We're going to skip all this. We don't need it to do anything right now. And this is my new gingerbread working flawlessly from the get-go. Let's check out the settings in the about phone. We've got 2.3.1 Leo gingerbread version 0.8.5. And by the time you install your own gingerbread, you probably will have uh, you know higher versions. Let's go check out the camera, if the camera works flawlessly, that is one of the biggest things that should work out of the box. Oops. There we go. Look, so the camera works. Let me see if the settings changed in a bit. No. Let me see. Okay, let's switch the video. Um, well, it looks the same as before, but um, what I'm really looking for is speed. So let me go install Linpacks real quick. We're going to check out the speed. Hi right, folks, so I've got the uh, Linpacks on it now, so let's run uh, Benchmark. By the way, my Nexus one on the stock 2.2 gets about 38 mega flops or M flops. I think that's what it's called, mega flops. Somebody can correct me. I know always there's people. Let me run it again. Usually you get better speed second or third time. 35. So the speed hasn't changed that much. I was getting about 38 with my other one. Um, but we could probably overclock this. 
let me download set CPU and see if it'll if it's uh, the kernel is already optimized for overclocking we'll see that and also let me show you everything's working fine I get a uh, nice uh, HS DPA signal here and uh, everything's just you know pretty cool I guess um, you know I don't I don't get why gingerbread is you know I don't know maybe it's a little bit better than 2.2 um, yeah, there's I mean more features, but I highly recommend it. This one, seem, everything's working out of the box. Uh, Leo Gingerbread ROM for Nexus One, and next week I'm gonna have a Nexus S for comparison, and also I'll be rooting it, doing a whole bunch of stuff, maybe throughout the window. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna have like a bunch of new phones this year. I'm gonna get the Atrix 4G. I'm gonna get. Uh, Oh, that they come out with LG Optimus 2X. I'm gonna get that. Uh, we're gonna hack it. We're gonna put Ubuntu on our phones, and we're gonna make it like Atrix but better. I'm gonna hook it up via ACMI cable, and uh, uh, you know, well, actually, you can do that already. Well, well, maybe we'll do it with Ubuntu. That would be really cool. Anyway, that was uh, how to install uh, Gingerbread 2.3 on your Android. Uh, Google just released 2.2.1, which is kind of ridiculous. But uh, you can always install Leo uh, Gingerbread. This is probably better than stock. Um, let me see if I can get set CPU real quick. Ooh, how cool is that, right? So I got that. Ding, like a TV. I have this on my Sprint Evo also. What ROM is that? Oh, it's the Cyan. I think this this build is off the Cyanogen mod ROM. Um, that's why they're similar, but I like this ROM. It's really nice UI. So I'll be back if I can install set CPU. Otherwise, subscribe and I'll have more cool videos. Leave comments below. Thanks. Folks, so I've installed set CPU, but this kernel doesn't have it. Um, but I'll have uh, instructions on how to overclock it to like 1.5, like my G2 that I did the other day. Anyway, I found out some cool stuff about the uh, Endway 2.2, I guess or 2.3 I mean you can do stuff like uh, you know you can move the cursor so it's a lot easier and select and also like you can go here where before you had to like kinda click here and just click there but now you can just move this cursor around and this little thing is you know huge for browsing so much faster um, what else did I find about 2.3 well I have I'll have to go read about it, but um, there's also uh, with this ROM you get the super user uh, app, and also you get basic. You can uh, tether it USB or Wi-Fi. Just go to wireless networks, and you can go tethering in portable Wi-Fi like uh, Nexus One or G2 before. Anyway, so this is a complete package. I highly recommend it for Nexus One users. Get the Leo Gingerbread. This is awesome, awesome ROM. So, see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah.